All right, so ladies and gents, in this video, I'm gonna be going over what is inside of my wallet as a millionaire. Now, it's been quite some time since I last made one of these videos, and when I first started this series, it was about five years ago. Since then, I've gone through my fair share of wallets. I've used a lot of different brands. I've used some fake Louis Vuitton brands over on Amazon. Shout out to the OG days. If y'all remember that, you are definitely a real one. And we've also had multiple Louis Vuitton pocket organizers. Got myself a couple YSL wallets as well, and then eventually, Eventually, we finally upgraded to this piece right here. So for this video, guys, here's the way I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna talk about what I carry inside of my wallet. We're gonna go over the details of what this wallet actually is, whether I like it in comparison to some of the ones that I mentioned, and most importantly, we're gonna be going over the contents and how I use some of the credit cards in here as well. All right, so this wallet I've had for about less than a year now. It was gifted to me by my girlfriend and her parents ended up getting this in Europe, I believe in Paris, at the actual Goyard store. And by now you guys should know this is a Goyard wallet. First of all, I love the quality. This is actually one of my favorite colors, gray. I love just minimal colors if you guys know me well enough by now. And this wallet actually fits a ton of cards and different things. So since then I've used this uh, ever since I got back from Korea. I used it in my different vacations. I used it on my Vegas trip and I carry it on me day to day and it's been holding up great. Uh, what you will notice though with this wallet is that some parts of it is peeling and that's not because the quality is bad. If anything, the quality is really good. And what ended up happening was right after I got this for around my birthday time, my puppy, if any of you guys, by the way, have golden doodles, you'll know they literally eat everything. These things are like living vacuums, especially as a puppy. So shout out to Credit Astro, love him to death. But as a puppy, he would be eating my socks. He'd be eating anything he can get his hands on or his paws on, I'd rather say. And one of those things he got his paws on was my wallet. So I remember turning my back and I like see in the peripherals of my eyesight, like him like doing something. I see a great little item. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way he got my wallet. He ended up chewing it up just a little bit. So on this uh, side piece, he went through the leather. Thank goodness at that time he had baby teeth because if he did that now as, you know, more of a teenager dog or an adult teeth dog, this wallet would have been wrecked. Regardless, it is safe now and I've been loving it. So the way this wallet functions is you have one main card slot here. You have two back pockets here. And then on top of that, you also have two more spots here on the left. Goyard has really minimal branding aside from like the uh, actual design that they have, which is something I really appreciate because I've never liked really loud, flashy colors and things like that. I really like subtle, quiet type of wealth. Now, compared to some of the other designer brands, I do like YSL a lot, and it seems like the quality has also been pretty consistent. Um, I used this card holder right here. It ended up fitting a decent amount. Now, what I did notice with this card holder is that because it has such a slim profile, you may be one of those individuals that don't like carrying all that bulk on you. But for me, when it comes to my wallet, I like carrying bulk, and that's because I don't ever wanna lose my wallet. So if this is off of my person, it's got a serious amount of weight on it compared to something like this. I would know if someone pickpocketed me, generally. Out of all the different styles of wallets I've carried over the years too, I realized that I love the ones where it opens up just like this. It's more convenient and I find that even though this has a smaller profile, there's just a lot more work where it takes you to like try and pinch some of these cards out. Now, most of the credit cards that I use these days are now all metal. So if I use certain brands where the pockets are too tight, it ends up actually becoming a struggle and trying to pull all of them out. Now, finally, let's go into the contents of what I keep inside of here. Starting out with my main primary card, this is gonna be the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Now, normally what I keep within this primary slot is my American Express Gold Card because that is my most used credit card. Uh, whenever I go out, to eat. That's generally when I'm carrying my wallet. But I applied for the Chase Sapphire Reserve about a week or two ago, and I'm working on that welcome bonus. So for right now, every purchase I make, I'm putting it on this card. I also have a cool little trip planned with my girlfriend to Mexico soon. So this is another card that I'll be fully utilizing for all the dining and travel benefits. To the left of that, I actually have a few cards. One card that I always keep on me is going to be a business credit card. Now, as most of you guys know from watching this video and from hearing my story, I own multiple businesses. And for that, if I ever have a business expense or a business meal with coworkers, with one of my employees, or just with other YouTubers within the space, I'm gonna be putting that meal on a business credit card. Now, although I know I'm not gonna be earning the most amount of points, like if I put that restaurant meal on any other card, like say as an example, even the gold card, 
I use my business credit card because it easily separates my personal and business expenses. For me, it's not worth getting 4X versus just taking the L on the 1X if it means I have to go back and reconcile my books and tell my bookkeeper, by the way, that was a business meal. Can we move it over? Too much work. So I like keeping things simple uh, within this stage of my business. I always tend to keep one business credit card on me. So whether this is the American Express Business Platinum or the Business Unlimited by Chase or any one of the other Chase Inc. business cards that I also have within my binder. Now, what I also have within my wallet is gonna be the American Express Platinum card. This is a fantastic travel card and in my most recent few months, I've been to Vegas and I was also in Austin, Texas for another conference. And this is where that card came in handy. I used it for lounge access. I used it to purchase my flights. And out of all the cards within my setup, I just find that I still end up gravitating towards the platinum if I don't know what card to use outside of my gold card. So platinum card is here gold card is here. Outside of that, I actually do carry one more credit card on me. Before we go into that other credit card, I have this one black card. If you guys are wondering what this is, it says VIP on here and IVA International. Pretty much in the DMV area, my restaurant group that I'm invested in, which owns Gyuzo, which is that Japanese barbecue place that you guys might have seen me talk about on my Instagram. That is owned by this company here, and we own a lot of bubble tea shops, hot pot places, a lot of other you know, barbecue joints within the Asian niche. And pretty much if it is owned by our company, I get 30% off anytime I flash this card right here. So it's just a nice little coupon card basically. And then behind that, I also carry my built MasterCard. Now, generally I don't have the Chase Sapphire Reserve within my wallet, but because I'm working on that welcome bonus offer, it is within my wallet. But what you'll notice here is outside of the Inc. Business Unlimited card, I only have American Express. So anytime I run into an issue where they don't accept Amex for whatever reason, I use my built MasterCard instead. This is still one of my most favorite cards and for a no annual fee card, out of all the ones that I know about, this is definitely the heaviest. Now we're gonna push those guys aside. I do have a few more things in my wallet. One thing I like to do is I like carrying as much cash as possible on me. And this is used for the purpose of giving people tips when I can. You know, we're in a recession. If someone does a really great job, I don't know. If I see like a worker out there struggling, I'll usually give them a, a tip when I can. And I told myself if I'm ever in a situation where I make enough money where I can tip others, I'm gonna do that. So I've been very blessed, you know, by God to be able to make a lot of money. So I try to give it back in times that I can. On a regular day, got a couple hundred dollars in cash, 20, 40, 60. It's like, maybe 1100, 1200 bucks in here. All right, put that aside. Now on top of that, guys, we have a few more things within my wallet. So first of all, I got my driver's license right here for the state of Maryland. I also have my private client debit card. Uh, this is because I was in Vegas. I ended up not gambling, but I was planning to. I was planning to try and get lucky for a few times. And if I needed to withdraw some cash, I would have done it with my uh, debit card right here. But generally I don't actually carry this on my person unless you know times like that come up. Now, I have three more cards within my wallet. One of those is gonna be my Care First Blue Choice insurance card. For this past year, my company has started to pay for the health insurance of our employees and I'm an employee of the company too. And guys, I didn't realize how expensive like health insurance was because I only recently turned 26. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. If your employer gives you good health insurance, tell them thank you. On top of that, we also have my state of Arizona Department of Public Safety concealed weapons permit. I have a license to conceal carry. So usually when I'm going out and I legally can do so, I'll do that. And then for the state of Maryland, I also have my concealed carry permit as well. So all of these things fit with inside of my wallet. You might be surprised, but it does hold a decent amount. Out of all of these things, I think the most important thing is to just have a credit card that you use on a daily basis. And if at any Anytime you're working on a welcome bonus, keep that as your primary credit card until you know you hit that offer and then rotate back into your primary everyday choice. At the moment, guys, I do still have a ton of other credit cards that are coming up. Now, if you guys are new to the whole credit card game, you have never seen me before or you don't even know why I have so many credit cards, be sure to watch some of the other videos that I made on this channel, especially one called the Ultimate Credit Card Hacking Guide. If at any time you guys wanna learn more about some of these cards and you wanna pick one up for yourself, be sure to check out the links down below in the description. Now those are affiliate links. There's no pressure at all in you using them. And if you want to use another person's affiliate link or referral link, be my guest. 
that's completely fine. But I do at least want to mention whenever you do take those links, it supports our channel directly. And I thank you for that. One last thing, guys, if you do want to go ahead and pick up some free stocks, be sure to check out Moomoo Moo link down below in the description. And one last thing, guys, if you want to go ahead and join me in a conference, I'm going to be popping by. Be sure to check out the link down below in the description for the travel summit happening in Canada for the month of April. And one last thing, if you guys want to get my free Notion credit card organizer, this is a template that I have set up and you want to join my Facebook group, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. When you pop in your email, we'll go ahead and send that over to you as well. Like always, I appreciate y'all. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, peace out.